Hey friends, this is Grace and welcome to my channel and welcome to the last video of our Digging Through Our Stash A through Z series. We have made it, my friends. I can't believe it. We are on letter Z. So I'm going to make it really easy for me. And if you're following along, hopefully this one, this one will be easy for you as well. We're going to do zigzag. And I'm just using up a paper pack that I have in my stash. I bought this on Tuesday, uh, Tuesday morning. I don't know, a couple of years ago or so. Um, and it's a birthday stash. I So now that I have been scrapbooking for almost 18 years, I kind of know the papers. Like if I am looking at sales, what are some of the papers that I know that I will be using over and over again? And in my type of documenting, it's holiday themes and travel themes and birthday themes. So whenever I see a deal on birthday paper, birthday supplies, embellishments, you name it, I grab it. And so this is one of those. It's a Pebbles 6 by 8 paper pad. And as you can see, I've used it already. I think I created some Chris, I mean, no, not Christmas, <laughs> some birthday cards with it, but now I'm going to use it for this birthday layout. This is actually a layout of me and my family eating at a Korean restaurant for my daughter's birthday. But um, so there's no birthday really in the photos, but I wanted to use birthday because we were celebrating her um, 15th birthday um, during this particular time. So I am grabbing some papers and I was looking specifically for papers that have smaller images because of the chevron or zigzaggy type of look that I am going to go for with this. I'm going to create a border on the bottom of this white cardstock. And I'm going to start off with some, this is half an inch by, I think I was cutting it by two and a half inches long. And I'm going to do that for a lot of these products. Now, this kind of technique is really good for small prints. So that's why I grab this pad because it's it already has smaller prints in it. And I really like the colorful color, um, yeah the colors on this particular paper pad as well. So I'm just going to cut a few of this here and um, I'm going to cut more because I want my border to be at least three, I think it'd be three strips in length, no, in width. And then it's going to span, no, yeah, in length and then it's going to span the whole of my 11 and 3 quarter inch um, white space here. I'm just going to move things around. I'm grabbing my scissors and my idea is that I am going to create the mitered look that I always do when I do my corners. So I put them, I put the papers perpendicular to each other and then I cut them at a V and then I move them and turn them into a V and then cut the other side. That way I have this per perfect, what is that? Rhombus? No, I don't know what shape that is, but um, it has that slant on both short ends. That makes any sense. So now I'm trying to figure out, okay, I have those two. Now, how am I going to connect them? And so that's how it's going to look. It's going to have a V there. And I'm trying to see if I am able to create them. Like if I were to continue to do that process of like cutting them at an angle if all of those angles will meet like a puzzle. So that's why I put them together. I'm not necessarily going to have um, just those two designs, one like, like that. I'm going to move them around, but I just kind of see if, if it all works because I've kind of tried to do this before, but it, it didn't work out. And I know that if I start cutting without kind of trying to piece them together, I know I'm just going to be wasting paper. So I just want to make sure that they all work and perfect, they work. So now I'm going to continue cutting them. And I did that off camera. 
and now I'm just building them. I am trying to not make them make the same design so close together but and also I was trying not to have like the ones that have colorful but then white they had colorful designs but have white background not so close together but I think at the end I'm going to end up having to put them just because of the way that that the diagonal or the yeah the diagonals are facing one another I have to I have to make it work with the stuff that I have so I don't have to cut too much and I did ink up the edges of the white ones just to make them stand out against a white background um, and what I did was I started from the left side as you can see the left side is perfectly matching the edge of the white cardstock but then the right one you have an um, an excess and I will just cut that off once I have built my layers so I'm just going to do that and again this technique is really good with um, with whatever theme you want like this one it's a birthday but I can totally change this up to a Halloween or any holiday that I want or even travel um, or even every day you know it just you can use paper scraps with this and you can create as big of a border as thick of a border as you want or as thin um, you can even make this because mine um, is going to be on the bottom of my page and we can make this kind of a book ends where we can do one on the left and one on the right the um, possibilities are endless with this particular design as you can see i have all my excess or my my scraps on the side there because um, i've been working hard and then i'm gonna mat this with a light blue cardstock and i did got the inside of that and i'm gonna use the inside of it as a photo um as a mat for my photo and then um, i also added some papers to that i apologize that the ending was a little bit short i didn't know that it was cut off but i did use some of the cut apart sheets from that particular paper pad um, as an embellishment and then i used a birthday thickers pack for my title and just did happy yay day i combined some of those letters to make my title i had my pre-printed journaling and then finished it off with some enamel dots thank you so much for watching and watch out for a new series I am kind of mulling over and doing a smaller series mini series and see if I have time for that but I hope that you guys catch the next video if you like these videos please consider subscribing and thumbs upping and I will catch you guys in the next video bye